Did you know your computer and TV display digital video differently? I'm Robert Cho with a video editing tip. If you've worked at all in digital still photography, you know image brightness is controlled by numerical values on a scale from 0 to 255. 0 represents pure black, 255 pure white. To maximize contrast, you adjust your photos in an editing app like Photoshop so that the black and white points are very near these values. A helpful histogram lets you monitor the progress quantitatively. In the official digital video standards, though, things are a little different. It turns out the scale used, called Studio RGB in Sony Vegas, ranges from RGB values of 16 for black to 235 for white. Values below 16 render as pure black, and values above 235 render as pure white. In other words, there is no image detail at all in these extremes. Nonetheless, video editing apps will let you use these super black and super white values on your computer-generated videos without any warning. Worse yet, if you don't take precautions to properly preview your video in your editor, you'll think everything is fine because they'll display properly on your computer's monitor. It's only when you upload them to YouTube or render them to a DVD that clipping shows up. So if you're wondering why your videos don't quite match broadcast TV and highlight and shadow detail, your problem may be an incorrect studio RGB setup. How can you tell? It isn't always easy to spot this error if your footage doesn't contain important details at the extreme ends of the tonal range. You may even like the exaggerated mid-tone contrast clipping the endpoints produces. On the other hand, if your video has important shadow details, you may be disappointed in the final result and scratching your head to figure out what went wrong. Now, I've created a free test pattern you can download to verify your video is properly displayed to the end user, whether you're watching it on YouTube or a more traditional display device. It's easy to use. Just drop the image into the Vegas timeline and apply your usual render settings. The pattern contains super black and super white elements, as well as well-behaved luminance values in the official studio RGB space, 16 to 235. If we open up Sony's video scopes and look at the RGB parade, you'll see these large S-shaped curves with the studio legal range as well as smaller S's off the scale. It's the small S's that cause a split to occur in the black and white rectangles you see in the middle of the test pattern. These should only be visible in your editing app, not on the final display. Similarly, the famed words black and white in the rectangles are designed to remain visible if the display isn't clipping the extreme top and bottom of the range. A proper display should look like this. No vertical lines in either the black or white rectangles, but clearly visible lettering spelling out the words black and white. If your video is clipping, the test pattern will look like this. Solid black and white boxes. To fix this in Sony Vegas, go to the Video Output FX plugin and add a levels correction. There's a preset called Computer to Studio RGB pre-configured to do this. You'll notice a contrast drop when you apply the filter. Don't worry. Remember, Vegas isn't showing you how the video will look on the output device. You're viewing the video in computer RGB mode. The contrast will be there for the end user. Incidentally, if you click on Options and go to the Display Device Settings, there's a click box allowing you to preview your video with studio levels. Click the checkbox to enable it. Note that this setting only applies to the full screen preview. The windowed view you see while editing still displays in computer RGB, so be careful. I usually wait until I'm ready to do my final render before I apply the Sony levels correction to make sure I'm seeing the colors and contrast as close to what the end user will see as possible. So there you have it, broadcast ready video for your viewers with proper highlight and shadow detail. I'll post a link for you to download your free black and white point test pattern in the video notes. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more free tips and tricks.